It's the Super Bowl, World Cup, Tour de France, you name it, all wrapped in one. If people have seen a partial solar eclipse, which most have, particularly in 2017, that in no way prepares you for a total solar eclipse. They are completely different events. A partial solar eclipse is when the moon partially covers the sun's face. Um, and the human eye doesn't notice that until it's 95% eclipse. So it really it doesn't do anything unless you have your solar eclipse glasses on and see it. Um, annular eclipse, which we actually did have in 1994 here in Indianapolis, that's where the moon's a bit smaller than the sun, so it can't completely cover the sun's face, okay? Uh, and in that case, you know, it looks like a sort of a ring in the sky or annulus. Well, uh, those, you wouldn't really know what's happening either. A hybrid eclipse is a special one where you go from a annular to a total. Um, so you, in, in the moon is just, just perfectly the same size as what it appears as the sun. And a total is when you have the sun completely blocked out. And by that, we mean the sun will appear a million times dimmer because now you only see the corona and not its surface. We already have purchased over $20,000 worth of equipment for this eclipse. So we're gonna have solar telescopes guide people through the eclipse, tell them look for this, things like what we call shadow bands, diamond ring effect, uh, you know, uh, talk about the temperature changes, the wind change that can occur, uh, you know, just various things to look for. And it's basically in that final 10 minutes as you approach totality, and particularly in the final two or three minutes, that's when things really change dramatically. We'll hear birds roosting, things like that, which you can hear anywhere. Uh, but like I said, prior to totality, we're going to have all our telescopes trained on this so people can see sunspot and solar activity and things like that. Get your eclipse glasses or find someone who has some, okay? Don't use sunglasses or anything like that. They will not work. You'll damage your eyes. Eclipse glasses. Um, or like I said, you can come to Holcomb Observatory. We'll have solar telescopes and things like that up. Um, the other thing I recommend people do is get in the path of totality. So if anyone in your listening audience here is outside of that where they live, just go the extra few miles if it's that to get inside of it. Because as we always tell people, a 99% partially eclipsed sun is still 0% totality. And you can't describe totality to anyone. Everyone I've talked to said you just can't describe it. During totality, that's when you don't need your eclipse glasses because the sun is a million times dimmer. Uh, so you want to take them off the minute this totality comes, then the minute the sun comes back, you put them back on. So there's going to be the, roughly that three to four minutes here in, in central Indiana that we have that basically twilight sort of looking sky going on. Um, so just don't look at the sun. Look at look at for this glow. Look for things like that. Look at the sky because you'll see the bright planets of Venus and Jupiter very easily if it's a clear day. They'll be si either side of, of, of the sun. Viewers in Kokomo, the north half of Kokomo will be outside of the path of totality. The south side will be. So just driving that extra five miles from north to south, you might go from 0% totality, still sun shining, to totality for perhaps a minute or two. So it really does make a difference to drive that extra five or 10 miles just to get in the path. This is one of the most amazing natural wonders anyone can see in their lifetime. And your chance of seeing one in your lifetime is only once about every 390 years. And I did the math from, uh, let's see, I think uh, over a 5,000 year period centered around today's date or so, there have only been 11 total solar eclipses pass over the circle. Since this is something in the sky, this is free to everyone. Just look up to see this event. And so even if you can't make it to our event or someone else's, it's free to you. Look up in the sky, get those eclipse glasses, and then at totality, pull those off and enjoy that pearly orb uh, surrounding that black hole where the sun used to be.